Good morning guys, happy Friday. Today is my first day where I haven't jumped in the car straight away to go and go somewhere or do something. The builders are still at the house obviously with the bathrooms and the cleaners have just arrived as well so basically I just wanted to get out of the house because I feel like I'm in the way. I am just walking to Dunkin Donuts. I'm gonna have a coffee. I mean it's about a 40 minute walk to Dunkin Donuts. 40 minute walk back. I'll spend at least an hour there so that's nearly you know, three hours, <laughs> but at least it gets my steps up. And uh, Keegan's away shooting, he's doing clay pigeon shooting with a friend today. So whilst he's out, I'll just keep myself busy. I've got some editing to do. I've got to sort out this uh, whole mortgage business. Basically, guys, last night, I put an offer in in that house that I viewed at 6 p.m. last night. So obviously I didn't hear back. I'm just waiting to see if I'll hear back from them today. I was warned not to come this way, guys, because this is where the steep hill is. And a man walking towards me was like, oh, if you're going down that hill, don't, because it's very slippy. And I just went, oh, okay, thanks. And now I'm still walking down here, which is classic me. Rules are made to be broken. So are bones. <laughs> no, not bones. I just don't listen to people. You know what? If someone said to me, uh, if I was queuing for a cash machine and someone was like, oh, the cash machine's not working, I would go, oh, okay, thanks. And then I'd still try and use it to work out for myself whether it is working or not. Would you do that? Are you one of those people that would just take someone's word for it and go, oh, okay. Or would you go, Thank you, but I'm gonna find out for myself. <laughs> Cause that is me. But so far, so good. Let's just hope I can make it up the other side. Okay, this is absolutely fine. Especially cause I'm wearing my big Timberland boots. If these can't cope in the snow, what can? So guys, I've just been reading some of my book and I've just got a text and an email from the estate agent saying that they're putting my offer forward. Um, I just need to supply some like uh, identification and things like that so in order to formally make the offer so I'm gonna do that now. Still haven't sorted out like all of the financial in terms of like how I'm purchasing it whether it's through my business or things like that but um, yeah my accountants on that. I just need it all to come together at the same time but yeah no I think. Hello. How are you guys? Yeah. Right, I've had my lunch and I'm now just on a little dog walk. Ava is still loving the snow. Come on. This view never gets old. The trouble is, I've learned up north, it's not blue sky and sunny often. Usually it's grey. Greyer than down south. So whenever it is blue sky and sun, and blue sky, sun and snow, I've just got to make the most of it because it doesn't often happen. I've spoken to my accountant, which is a lot clearer than going back and forth over emails. He's explained everything to me. I've understood about 95% of it. <laughs> Some of it I'm still getting my head around. But yeah, that is looking all set to go. So I'm going to, once I'm back from this walk, send the confirmation email with my offer, with my ID and with everything, uh, with this property, and then we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now I'm like, oh, should I have gone even lower? Because I've offered under asking price, but only, you know, not by a lot. Um, and I'm like, maybe I should have been even cheekier and gone even lower. Anyway, and then I woke up really scared and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? But now in the cold light of day, once my brain has been engaged, Now that my brain has woken up, I'm like, no, it is the right decision. It's just scary, isn't it? It's just a big change. Also, I should say, from looking at the comments this morning, I think I've, I've offended a few people with my comments about pensions, but I did make it clear that, in my opinion, a pension is a waste of time, for me, in my scenario. So some people are like, you're spreading misinformation about pensions. I'm not. I'm saying, for me, in my situation, that is a waste of time and money. As I even said in the video, if I had a nine to five where I was getting a regular paycheck from my employer, every single month and they were contributing to my pension too then I absolutely would have a pension but as a self-employed person my pension is hopefully going to be the rental income from these properties so um, if you want a pension do it and I'm sure everyone knows I'm not a financial advisor so go talk to someone about pensions if you want but I'm just saying for me it's a waste of time and I'm anti-pensions but if you're not anti-pensions, that's okay too. And I'm not too proud to say that I could come to regret that. Maybe I'll hit 65, 70, 75, whatever age it is by the time I retire. I might come to regret it and go, wow, I was so dumb. Why did I do that? That could happen, maybe. 
um, but I'm willing to take the risk. This is Editor Joel in my new office. So cool. It's really nice to edit at a desk. Anyway, this is just a quick thank you to all my members who posted lovely comments on this members video where I'm a bit more open and honest about, you know, how the last week has been settling in. Um, only just because I don't feel comfortable putting extra vulnerable stuff on the public channel for everyone to see, even people who hate me. Uh, <laughs> so I just keep that for my members. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for all of these lovely comments. Um, it means the world to have you guys with me. And just to let you guys know, if you're not members and you would like to become a member, click join next to subscribe and it will give you all the options there. Hey guys, it's Sunday and I am just about to take the dogs for a walk. They're all getting ready. I'm just going to put my socks on and my wellies. Last night we went to Harry Potter, which I was going to make that into its own vlog, but when I got there I just couldn't be bothered. Ava, we're going. Be quiet. Where was I? Harry Potter World, yeah. I, or Harry Potter Studio Tour, I should say. I was going to vlog the whole thing, but I didn't. I just got loads of B-roll. So I'm going to show you that now and just chat you through what it was like. So our slot at the Harry Potter Studio Tour wasn't until 5.30 in the evening but it made it even more magical when we arrived because it was dark outside. It's the third time I've been to the studio tour and it just keeps on being just as magical as the first time I went. So the first thing you see is the Great Hall. You get taken in, it's a guided tour inside the Great Hall and then you just let loose and you can explore the rest of the studio tour by yourself. There are a few new sets that weren't there last time I visited. The Slytherin Common Room wasn't there last time, and also the Professor Sprout's Greenhouse as well. The detail in the sets is absolutely incredible. The props buyers and the costumiers and everything, they went into such detail, and that is what makes the films so, so magical. I just think I'd love to be a props buyer on a film. I think it's the most fun job ever. I probably listened to about 30%, not not all of them, but it's very cool. It was such a good experience, really, really loved it. And anyway, today I have almost an entire day to myself, which is really, really lovely. Keegan left at about 11.30 this morning um, to drop the kids back at home with their mum because he's got rugby, he's uh, got training. He was supposed to have a match today, I think against York away, so in York. Um, but because it's so cold and the ground is so frozen, the game has been sort of called off. So they've had to move it from a real pitch to like a artificial astroturf pitch which means that no one can go and watch so the original plan was that i would go and watch the game uh, but now the game is being played behind closed doors so oh sorry that hill so out of breath so that means that i've got all of today because basically because it's an away game and apparently they have food after the game as well keegan probably won't be back until about 7 30. so i've got eight hours to myself which i obviously i love spending time with keegan however i love spending time alone as well <laughs> and so i've made a list of things to do i love it and this is also for me a really important part of starting to feel at home here is getting in my own routine so i think 
I'm really glad that I've spent this week being super busy and you know from the first day <laughs> you know I was doing house viewings, I got moles removed, I went into lead, I was having meetings and I was doing this that and the other and I kept really busy um, which is good however I feel like in order to start feeling at home here I also need to have some days where I'm not doing a huge amount like I'm not going anywhere I'm just at home but anyway it's yeah it's been a week now since I've lived here it's been a week in Yorkshire and so far so good the sadness as you might have seen from the videos the sadness of leaving London was definitely sort of contained to last weekend I've woken up with pangs of like oh it's over now living with Lucy and if I think too deeply about it <laughs> I can make myself upset but on the whole I think because I've been so busy I have just like clicked into another gear now and I'm like this is my life so embrace it Joel. Last Sunday we were having a lovely roast dinner at a lovely pub. This Sunday I'm having lentils and a tin of tuna. Oh well. <laughs> Last night at the Harry Potter studio tour we did have some really nice food. We had some snacks. I think we all had a Greg sausage roll. We all had a donut as well uh, on the way down and then when we were there, I had a pulled pork hot dog with fries and the kids had like loaded fries. Keegan also had a hot dog, like it was so good. And then on the way home, I think me and Keegan each had a flapjack and we shared some chocolate. So it's, that's why I'm not having a full on lunch today. Um, also there's not much in the fridge. So I want to know whether Gusto's worth it because obviously we're doing Gusto. So tomorrow our box will arrive with all our meals. However, I've still got to go and buy a few essentials like cans and yogurts and uh, things for lunches even so it, it just feels like you're doing two shops but I think it is still cost effective but anyway. My car is absolutely filthy because the builders have been cutting tiles out there so my car is covered in dust which they told me about they were like I'm really sorry and I was like it's fine I'm not precious about my car and um, I always take my car to, to like a car wash anyway I never clean it by hand I'm just going off to Lidl now to do this shop and get that done because uh, I figured the gym will probably be busier now at lunchtime than if I was to go in an hour or two and guys I feel a bit nervous today and I've realized it's because I put an offer in on the house didn't I? I I think you guys know this I put an offer in I just know that this next week I'm kind of gonna find out like maybe even as early as tomorrow I'm gonna find out whether my offer's been accepted or if it's been rejected or if they haggle with me and they're like, can you pay more? It's just setting the ball in motion and I keep having these moments of going as if you've put an offer in on a house. Like, I don't feel grown up enough to do that. <laughs> just feels very very strange. I've been doing a, a property course for a long time now. I've swatted up on it for like over a year now and I, I, I think I know my stuff. I know I've got lots to learn still because you know you properly learn when you actually do something don't you? You learn by doing not by just reading a book or doing a course but I feel like in a good position to do it yet I still have woken up yesterday and today going oh my gosh what if it gets accepted? Oh my gosh is this a big mistake? It's gonna like take all my money ah but i know it's the right thing to do because it's 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 an investment it's not like i'm just spending loads of money on like ridiculous things like this is actually an investment for my future anyway we're here at little that took oh my gosh i've i've been rolling since i was on the driveway two and a half minutes and i'm here already my favorite job is to choose the biscuits i've been tasked with choosing biscuits and sweets i have got two bags worth not too bad, only a 30 quid shop. Very random things, I bought some things for the kids pack lunches, some cans, yogurts, sweets and biscuits, obviously, and that's about it. <coughs> I'm so embarrassed guys, look at it. I really need to go to car wash. Right, back from the shops, Ava's still drying off. I'm actually going to relax for an hour now and I'm going to watch the US Traitors. So I don't know, I don't think I've spoken about this guys. Everyone in the UK has been going mad about a show called The Traitors. Everyone was banging on about it and then over Christmas Keegan and I started watching it and loved it. I mean Keegan loved it, he pretends he doesn't. So every night when I was like, should we watch Traitors? He was like, oh. we'd watch it and he'd be hooked. He'd be like shouting at the TV and he'd like, he gets so into it, but he pretends he doesn't like it. They've released a US version. So I'm gonna start it. Apparently it's not as good as the UK version, but then I feel like people would say that because we, we're used to the UK version and the US version is gonna feel a bit different, but it's in the same castle. It's got a different presenter, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a watch. Right, let's give it a go. 
Which one of y'all are lying to me? I wouldn't lie to your face. You either like me or you don't like me and I don't care. Right, I'm back from the gym. Right, I've just put all the rubbish outside and look, this is one week's worth of cardboard. One week. Like, that is normal for us. We're always commenting on like how much cardboard we have. I think it's because we order so much stuff to get delivered. Actually, do you know what I think it is? Firstly, for Keegan, I think he's going from obviously living as one adult and like two kids occasionally to two adults. So I think it's that. And for me, I've obviously like ordered a bunch of new things for the house and things like that. So maybe that's why, but there's a lot of cardboard. And it's also, guys, this is really dull, but getting used to new recycling systems. So in London, all our recycling, plastic, metal, cardboard, it goes into recycling bags. But here, you have to put the cardboard separately, and then you have to put the plastic separately. You have to sort it out yourself, and I'm like, I don't like that. <laughs> I want the people that work at the bin depot to do that. That's just first world problems for you. Just thought I'd do you guys an outfit check. Here we go, I've got my gray trackies on. I've got this top which has an embroidered pizza on it, and my amazing Crocs, because I'm stylish, because I'm hashtag fashionable. Um, I actually, have, I've had these Crocs for over a year now. I got them for Christmas 2021. I absolutely love them and so much so that I bought Keegan some, some different ones. They were like rainbow tie-dye and they've got um, fur, they're like fur lined. So they're comfier than these ones. These aren't fur lined. And I bought him them. He hated Crocs and now he's a convert. He absolutely loves them. He wears them all the time. This morning he was like, is it acceptable for me to wear my Crocs to rugby training? And I was like, yeah, I think so. I don't think he took them. But anyway, they are so Comfy. I love mine. Anyway, I think I'm not gonna vlog the rest of this evening. I'm gonna chill now. It's five o'clock. I've got two and a half hours till Keegan gets back. I have a list of jobs still. All the big jobs have been done, but I've got some other jobs to do. For example, planning Keegan's birthday, which is in only mm, three weeks time or something. I've already begun. Um, planning, so that's good. Um, I need to do that. Keegan has also tasked me with selling the bathrooms, so we've kept all of the old uh, things from the bathrooms, so the bathtub, the sink, the toilet, the cabinets, everything, and he was like, can you sell them? <laughs> and as the king of like eBay and Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace, I was like, yeah, I'll do it. So I'm gonna have a look and see what we can get for the bathrooms. Hopefully, at least 500 quid would be quite nice. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. This vlog is a bit messy, a bit all over the place. I can't, as I'm talking now, I'm like, I don't even know what I filmed. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being with me as I'm settling into my new life here up north. That's it. Don't forget, I'm on Cameo. So if you want a personalized video, you can get the link. It's down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.